example 5.49 page number 673 of electrical machinery book written by P.S. Bhimra I am going to explain this example it is written that an industrial plant takes a load of 4 megawatt at the power factor of 0.8 lagging from a power system network and it has been decided to replace one 400 kilowatt induction motor by a synchronous motor of the same rating in order to raise the power factor of the plant so one induction motor is replaced by a synchronous motor so that we can increase the power factor of the plant okay so this is the aim now read this the induction motor and the synchronous motor both have efficiency of 90 percent okay the induction motor operates at power factor of 0.9 lagging but the synchronous motor is designed to operate at the power factor 0.8 leading and we have to calculate the new power factor of the plant and we have to calculate the percentage reduction in the line current this question can be solved very easily but you have to understand the trick in this question so this is the plant P for plant and this power uh, this plant is taking power from the power system network this is the power system network and this plant is drawing power from the power system network so the complex power drawn by the power system network can be written in this way the real power is 4 megawatt so I can write 4000 kilowatt divided by the power factor then plus cos inverse 0.8 I have written plus sign because the plant is operating at the lagging power factor when the plant is operating at lagging power factor you have to write plus sign so if you calculate cos inverse 0.8 it will be 36.87 now in this question it is written that the induction motor of the rating 400 kilowatt is replaced by a synchronous motor of the same rating the induction motor and the synchronous motor both have efficiency of 90 percent and the induction motor operates at 0.9 power factor lagging but the synchronous motor operates at 0.8 power factor leading what does it mean see from this plant this is the plant from this plant I have to remove I have to remove induction motor the rating of the induction motor is 400 kilowatt this is rating the rating of the induction motor is 400 kilowatt the efficiency of this induction motor is 90 percent the power factor is lagging and the power factor at which it is operating is 0.9 okay so if you consider this induction motor can you tell me how much power can be drawn by this single induction motor can you tell me the power drawn by this induction motor let us say this is s i m the power drawn by the induction motor the complex power drawn by this induction motor can be written in this way the rating means the output of the induction motor is 400 kilowatt 
can you tell me the input the efficiency equals to output upon input so the input equals to output upon efficiency output upon efficiency so the output is 400 kilowatt divided by 0.9 is the real power drawn by this induction motor the real power drawn divided by the power factor is the magnitude of the complex power drawn now write the angle cos inverse 0.9 I have written plus sign because the induction motor is operating at lagging power factor so let me write it again 400 upon 0 0.9 into 0 0.9 and cos inverse 0 0.9 equals to 25.841 degree now read the now we can understand the second statement he is saying that uh, we have removed the induction motor and we have to add one synchronous motor in place of induction motor and the synchronous motor rating is 400 kilowatt it is also working at the efficiency of 90 percent and the power factor at which it is operating is 0.8 leading so can you tell me how much power this synchronous motor will draw first you must understand that the rating of the synchronous motor is 400 kilowatt rating means the output power the, this is the output power rating is always in the terms of output power so this is the output power and the efficiency is given so you can tell me the input power input power equals to output upon efficiency so the output power divided by the efficiency this is the real power input the real power input divided by power factor so it will become the apparent power input or the apparent power drawn by the synchronous machine and the complex power drawn by the synchronous machine can be written in this way cos inverse 0.8 see because this synchronous machine is operating at leading power factor so you must write negative sign here so this is the power drawn s s m the s or you can write in this way this is s2 uh, and you can write it here this is s1 okay so s1 is this s1 means the complex power drawn by the induction motor and this is s2 s2 is the complex power drawn by the synchronous motor so s2 can be written in this way 400 upon 0 0.9 into 0 0.8 and cos inverse 0 0.8 can be written as 36.8 Eight, seven. so what we have to do now I am going to tell you the trick to solve this problem so the complex power input to the plant is the complex power input to the plant is 400 upon 0.8 sorry uh, this complex power input to the plant is 4000 upon 0 0.8 angle 36.87 so 36.87 so now what we do we want to remove one induction motor when we will remove the induction motor the complex power drawn by the plant will become minus minus 400 upon 0 0.9 into 0 0.9 angle 25.841 you have removed the induction motor which was drawing this much complex power now after removing the induction motor you have to add the synchronous motor when the synchronous motor will be added it will draw how much complex power 400 upon 0.9 into 
0.8 angle 36.87 so this is the concept this was the plant and this is the induction motor the power drawn the complex power drawn by the induction motor because the induction motor was removed that's why I have written negative sign and this is the complex power drawn by the synchronous motor because the synchronous motor was added to the plant that's why I have written plus sign now when we replace the induction motor with the synchronous motor the complex power drawn by the plant will be this so you have to calculate this you have to calculate this so if you are using this calculator if you are using this calculator Casio FX 991ES easily you can solve it within 30 seconds or you can say within 40 seconds you can solve it just you have to write it on the screen and you have to press equals to you will get the answer so the answer which you will get will be 4691.419 angle 31.50 so the first question if you read is find the new power factor of the plant the new power factor of the plant will be cos 31.50 if you calculate cos 31.50 you will get 0.8526 because there is positive sign so you have to write lagging okay you understood this so the new power factor of the plant is 0.8526 lagging lagging because there is plus sign so let me check the answer so answer is 0.8526 and I have got 0.8526 so if you calculate this use the calculator in which you can easily solve it because this calculator is a, a non programmable calculator and this calculator is allowed in all the universities so you can solve it easily no problem now the second part of this question is the second part of the question is calculate also the percentage reduction in the line current so how to calculate the percentage reduction in the line current see the plant is drawing 4 megawatt real power you know that p equals to root 3 vi cos 5 and in place of this p we can write 4000 kilowatt root 3 v I old and cos phi is 0.8 so you can write I old equals to 4000 kilo ampere divided by root 3 into V into 0.8 so I old equals to 5000 divided by root 3 V kilo ampere okay so now the in the plant what we have done this is the plant from the plant we have removed we have removed the induction motor and we have added the synchronous motor when we have removed the induction motor and we have added the synchronous motor you have got this 
the complex power drawn by the plant will become this this will be the complex power drawn by the whole plant after replacing the induction motor with the synchronous motor so can we write the real power drawn after after replacing the induction motor with the synchronous with the synchronous machine yes we can write the p cos to root 3 v i cos phi the real power drawn will be 4691.419 into cos phi is 0 0.8526 526 equals to root 3 v i nu and cos phi cos phi you can say the cos phi value is 0 0.8526 So this will be cancelled. So I nu equals to 4691.419 divided by root 3 V. So you got the old value of the current 5000 upon root 3 V kilo ampere and the new value of the current after replacing the induction motor with the synchronous machine uh, is 4691.419 divided by root 3 V kilo ampere. So how to find out the decrease in current you can see here the old current is high and the with respect to the new current the old current is let me write it write it again the old current is 5000 upon root 3 V kilo ampere and the new current is uh, 4691.419 upon root 3 V kilo ampere so with respect to the new current the old current is high so there is a decrease in the current so how to find out the percentage decrease in current the percentage percentage decrease in current equals to I old minus I new divided by I old in 200 so if you calculate this you will get 6.16 percent so if you tally it with the uh, printed answer there is somewhat deviation from my answer to the printed answer there is somewhat and uh, deviation but okay it is okay so in this way we have solved the Example number 5.49 given on page number 673 of the book P.S. Bhimra Electrical Machinery.